Hey, welcome back. I'm Judy, and I'm Michael. Today we're going to learn snake oil. Now, as usual, we've added these pause icons throughout the video, where we think it's a good idea to take a little bit of extra time. But if you ever feel like you need some extra time, go ahead and hit that pause button on your own. Yeah, and don't forget, this is just practice, so it's very important to just have fun. Let's get started. Snake oil is a fun party game about selling people stuff that they really don't need. A snake oil salesperson was most well known in the late 1800s as someone going from town to town trying to sell people medicines or elixirs to cure people of illnesses, knowing full well that they didn't work. The game itself is very simple. Each player will take a hand of six word cards. But teachers, if you want to make it easier for your students, let them take up to ten. Decide who the customer will be, and that player takes a customer card. You can choose either side of the card, but read it out loud so everyone can hear it. Then the salespeople take six word cards. All the snake oil salespeople now have a look at your word cards. And put two together to make a product you want to sell that customer. For example, if the customer is a cowboy, you may try to sell a bell hat to them, or how about a party tent? Everyone takes thirty seconds to decide what product they are going to sell. Remember, it's for the customer, so think what that kind of customer would want to buy. For the first couple of rounds, let's try without pitching the product until we get a feel for it. One at a time, starting with the player to the left of the customer, show the customer your product. Once all of the salespeople have shown their products, customer, you can now have a look at all of the products and decide. Which one you want to buy? Then give that salesperson your customer card, and they are the winner of that round. The winner is now the customer and takes a new customer card, and everyone else fills their hands back up to six word cards. Everyone do the same thing again. Try to make a product with two cards that the customer would want. When you're ready, reveal your products again, and the new customer can pick a new winner. Remember, always draw back up to six cards. Now we get to the real fun of the game. The winner takes a new customer card, and everyone tries to make a product again. However, Now it's time for your snake oil pitch. When you reveal product to your customer, you need to explain to them why they absolutely need this. This could take five seconds or thirty seconds, whatever you're comfortable with. It is very tricky to think of something on the spot, so don't worry if you can't do it straight away. If you can't do it, just say your product. Here are a few examples of pitches. Using the cowboy example, being a cowboy is really hard work with long, hot days riding your horse through the fields. I know that after a long day of work, all you want to do is come home and relax. What better way to relax than having a party with your friends? That's why I'm here to sell you a party tent, a tent that you set up and the parties. Already inside. Here I have some bell hat. We all know cowboys love hat and bells, so why don't you consider buying my bell hat? Now the customer picks the product they like the best. 
remember to try and think what the customer would want when picking a winner. Who was the most convincing? It's not just about who's the funniest, but it's always good to laugh. All right, everyone, give it a try. And that's the whole game. Let's try to make sure everyone has a turn to be a customer if someone goes a while without getting picked. Keep playing until your teacher tells you to stop. Now, you can play just for fun, but if you want to make it a competition, when the game is over, the player with the most customer cards is the winner. Once you have the basics down, here are a few different variants or different ways that you can play the game. Mm -hmm. First, teacher can be the customer and students can sell products in groups and each group will pitch to you. Also, students can make posters. This is stepping it up to another level and you can make a whole campaign around posters that can be presented to the class when they are finished. The teacher can pick two word cards and make a product, and then pick three customers. The students will have to think of a ways to make the product sound useful to each of the three customers. And the final variant is you can have two teams and each team takes a customer card. The other team then tries to pitch their product to the customer, and the team then has a turn to to form a rebuttal of why that product won't work. These are just a few different ways you can play snake oil. But however you play it, just make sure you have fun. Absolutely.